Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So we are back on, on the market and the market is green today because uh, we have some good news that Bitcoin is pumping because the US debt ceiling issues. My name is Maiden Kler from CoreMX and from Crypto Minds Global and we are bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial investment advice. So everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and make your decisions based on your research. So guys, smash those like, push the bell and notification on, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Smashing those like is helping with the YouTube algorithm. So appreciate all your likes and let's go. And analyze so as we see our favorite bubble chart ethereum is up two percent bitcoin is up 1.2 percent and most of the altcoins are up especially render and render is connected to the web free ecosystem also kava and iota immutable x is up and also we see push chain is correcting after the launch so good to see that uh, overall the market looks pretty good today our favorite indicator, the crypto fear at green index is at 50. So we are back in the neutral zone after being here for, let's say, three months uh, in, 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 in slightly in the greed zone. Now we are back in the neutral zone. So the market is consolidating. Let's go and check out our first news that Bitcoin buys the rumors on US debt ceiling as BTC price nears 27,500. BTC price action could attempt a reclaim of 30,000 anal analysis says, says of a Bitcoin climbing through its trading range. So there is a trading range and the 27,500 is the top of this trading range. And this is at the one hourly and 30,000 back on the cards if it will flip this trading range. And also let's check this uh, matrix. Successful bonds from weekly open reclaim into the uh, bonds of four hourly EMAs and one day EMAs part of the yes looking forward would expect real positioning to shift and show up today hold both EMA trends resol uh, resolution towards 30,000 plus the failure equals price goes back towards 200 and weekly moving a average so whatever we are flipping here and then we are heading north to 30,000. If not that, as, uh, most more potentially we are re revisiting the 200 week moving average at 26,200 and also the 100, uh, 100 uh, moving average on the weekly is at 26,000. So these are also likely scenarios on the weekly chart. So next, what else do we have? Investigating the Binance BTC order book, monitoring resource material indicators suggested that markets had bought the rumor when it came to debt ceiling news. Confluence between the Argos has historically been a very strong signal with a high probability of validating the candle close. Also, Hong Kong crypto green light. Hong Kong comprehensively virtual asset regulatory framework follows the principle of same business same risk, same rules, and aims to provide robust investor protection and manage key risk risks. This will enable the industry to develop uh, sustainability and support innovation. Cool. Many, many not know, but Hong Kong is one of the top 10 wealthiest city, cities in the world. I think we will see a lot of green candles in the summer. Yes, we need these green candles. And guys, yesterday we celebrated, or the day before, the Bitcoin Pizza Day and community celebrates anniversary of first known BTC transaction. So this is uh, 10,000 BTC went, with some speculating it was sold when the price surged, while others suggested that the keys, uh, the keys may have been lost. <laughs> what, a, what a hell. And guys, Laszlo Hanyets is uh, Hanyets, uh, uh, Laszlo Hanyets is also Hungarian, just like me. 
So here is a pro and he made the first document, uh, documented purchase of, uh, of a good with BTC. The exchange involved uh, 10,000 BTC worth 41 US dollar at the, that time and two pizzas from a local restaurant in Florida. The milestone turned into an annual celebration for the crypto space as community members reminiscent of how far the industry has come since the transaction. So guys, let's go and uh, let's go out and eat some pizza and celebrate. While many others were busy eating pizza, some took the time to appreciate Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So guys, uh, just let's let's make some calculation. Ten thousand Bitcoin. What does that worth? Uh, worth today? So let's go here on the coin Gecko BTC. Okay, Bitcoin and ten thousand Bitcoin. Let's go uh, to the converter. Ten thousand Bitcoin is worth. So what is the number? 271 million Bitcoin. So guys, that's huge. That's huge. So that's really huge. But this was the first. So uh, last Luhanyet never, never did mind this. Uh, so yes, let's go to our next news. Ledger Nano. So a lot of uh, things going around Ledger. The CEO says sharded wallet keys could be shard if subpoint. So the private seed phrases of Ledger users could be shard with governments if their custodians were ordered to do so. But this is not a real concern according to the CEO. Okay. The private seed phrase of users who opt into Ledger controversial new recovery upgrade could in theory be handed over to governments if they were to be subpoint. The firm has described the new recovery upgrade as an optional 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 firmware update that allows users to back up their seed phrases with third party entities with the aim of helping users recover their seed phrase should they lose it. So this is almost for uh, for newbies and for newcomers, for missing people, not for cryptologies. If a user opts into service, the seed phrase is broken into three encrypted fragments called shards, which are then stored with three separate parties, coin cover, ledger, and an independent backup service provider. And it's not true that the average person gets subpoint every day that they are uh, saying. And let's see what else. Okay, concerts overblown. Yeah, so they say that the core value proposition remains the same as it always has. The ethos of self-custody and self-sovereignty means you get to choose, said a Ledger spokesperson. The introduction of Ledger Recover doesn't change that. It's an entirely up to you if you feel it's a service you would like to subscribe to. What you are creating, if you choose to, is an SSS encrypted and sharded backup. These shards are completely useless unless the user restores the backup of a ledger device and only of a ledger device where multiply parts are needed in order to decrypt. If you don't want to use ledger recover, nothing changes for you. And also the firmware code is not open source, but they want to make it as much open source as they can. So guys, it's not clear how you can choose if you want to uh, take this service or if you want to uh, uh, opt out this service or, or just uh, you don't want to be in so we'll see hopefully within a few weeks uh, it's better not to up, 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 uh, update your ledger firmware until that but uh, I don't I, I'm using ledger also so uh, that is not a real threat but we'll see next Super hyper Bitcoinization will kill US dollar dominance. El Salvador advisor says this. Max Kaiser, the advisor of El Salvador, President Nayib Bukele said super hyper Bitcoinization emerged as means to uh, fight super hype, 
super hyper inflation so super hyper inflation okay so El Salvador's uh, Bitcoin approach is designed such that it can be copied for adoption in other countries he said that those who are not getting into the Bitcoin market will find it hard to survive in the next two three generations El Salvador the Central Afri American country is set to go down in history uh, and crypto market and game from for central banks so okay so the time has come for Bitcoin to take the place as a central bank killer he said there is a scale of urgency in terms of Bitcoin adoption around the world there has been an urgency in countries like Lebanon with the central bank collapse collapse and the people who had Bitcoin survived he explained the same uh, urgency has been playing out globally he added a state, uh, stating that the urgency in the United States too will change with the shift in the US dollar position uh, as the world reserve currency. We are at the end game of the 300 year experiment of central banks. Bitcoin was invent invented as a central bank killer, as now is a Bitcoin time. So we see, guys, yeah, so hard word, hard, hard words, but we'll see. Next. Veteran trader Tom Ways says Bitcoin is very clearly choosing paths of extended bull market. Here is his outlook. Let's quote from Tom Ways. He says that uh, the parabolic rally to 60,000 this year and top out at 200,000 sometime in 2025 or continue to consolidate for the rest of the year before rallying towards his higher target of 300,000 US dollar. We continue to consolidate. It's continued to be frustrating. I have been a Bitcoiner and it's a very, very clear that Bitcoin is choosing the purple path. I have the path for Bitcoin. One was a little more bullish with a lower top 200,000 and the other was a little more bearish with a higher top 300,000, a little further down in time. So guys, 200,000 and 300,000, but 200,000 is more the consolidated one. So the blue and the purple, these are the two options that Tom Ways thinks and these are post-halving the next uh, cycle top after the halving and the halving when the Bitcoin rewards uh, that the miner gets, uh, miner get, uh, are uh, divided um, in every four years. So. So we said the Bitcoin will probably rally to 34,000 uh, 34, due to the fact that the halving is less than a year away. The probability of a random swing to the upside where we go straight to 30,000, uh, 34,000 is way higher than a random crash to the downside where we are hitting 22,000. Like we are sitting here at 27,000 so to, uh, to get the 34, to 7,000 to go down 5,000 I think plus 5,000 is a lot more likely than down 5,000 from here I just think the downside is very limited very very limited next piece of news is big news from the Bitcoin uh, 2023 conference from Miami Michael Saylor Bitcoin is here to stay Bitcoin is the future it is the masterpiece of engineering he said Cool, from Miami. The reason that Bitcoin is so sound, literally sound, is because it's a the thermodynamically sound. Thermodynamically sound. This is a masterpiece of engineering because we have created a monetary asset where we have striped away all the country party risk, he said. So we stride away all the country party risk. Special because it's offered powerful and profound simplicity that enabled others to plug into the system with fewer risk. Create digital equity without equity risk, digital communities without community risk, and computer networks without computer risk. Also, he said that the crypto ecosystem was facing increased skepticism after wave of failures of its space, including the high profile. Implosions of FTX, Alameda, Terra Luna, and BlockFi, and others. All of those things which could be viewed in a negative light are actually positive for Bitcoin because they are all accelerating the conclusion of the mainstream investors 
and Bitcoin is a special and ethically sound, technically sound, and economically sound. Bitcoin fixes things. Bitcoins can help everybody, he said. Lightning Network and also everything. So Bitcoin is here to stay. Bitcoin is the future, he added. And guys, let's go and check out our next news that Hong Kong is uh, opening the crypto exchange access for retail users for there is a catch there is a catch what's the catch okay so announcement hong kong's comprehensive virtual asset regulatory framework follows the principle of same businesses same business same risk same rules and aims to provide robust investor protection and manage key risks yes so the state-owned chinese company greenland applied for a virtual asset trading license in hong kong so mainland China companies are obtaining for a crypto license. It's quite interesting. So Hong Kong said the country is opening its financial industry to digital assets, just a natural progression. So guys, I like it and we'll see. So that could bring big, big green candles in the summer. Next, Dubai. So Dubai developer to build worse first bitcoin tower so guys uh, that's a great news ua has also emerged as an avid supporter for cryptocurrencies in one of the latest initiatives to celebrate the values of bitcoin and dubai based developer has built a new hotel chain in the shape of bitcoin additionally it will be a real bitcoin tower which will stand 40 stories high okay it will include a distinctive method of rewarding its guests through the use of NFTs, which grant exclusive benefits to the holders. Additionally, to the renter fee will be created as a form of crypto staking, generating an annual percentage yield that guests can claim. So, describe the first hotel that reimburses guests for the payment with added interest. So guys, I like the idea. I don't know if this will be higher than the Burj Khalifa, we'll see and we we had a nice crypto event in Burj Khalifa and also in uh, in Hotel Atlantis next was this push to launch American CBDCs will drive feverish interest in Bitcoin says macro strategist Michael Saylor I think we already talked about that so if CBDCs will be launched that higher higher Bitcoinization, uh, money is a store of value, unit of account, a medium of exchange, and then there is a fourth characteristic that we talk about. It's thing that's not said is a system of control, and CBDC is also a system of control. So, guys, that's it almost, and let's go and check out our farms. Go to Pancakes Up uh, and provide some liquidity, especially in Corinx BNB pair, because uh, uh, you can farm this so uh, then you can lock up your farms and earn a juicy 70 70 77 percent aprs um, i don't recommend to use current busd pair because the busd uh, will be pulled out from the market with time also we will close this farm i don't know when but uh, current bnb pair that will be going forward so come look up your li some liquidity and then also we are working some developments with the laser pangats but things growing slower now we are just uh, ending the, the bear market but hopefully i see at the light at the end of the tunnel so i hope that we will add some use cases to corinx very very soon so guys that's that's it almost and also let's go and check out the charts what's happening out there as we see bitcoin is looking pretty good as it bounced at the 200 week moving average and also gold uh, is looking pretty good but uh, yeah so gold uh, is just making new highs as some uncertainty due to that ceiling is going around uh, but also this can help bitcoin and you see Bitcoin just passed at the 200 week moving average and now uh, it's also a kind of um, just breaking out from this wedge. So guys, definitely, uh, definitely you should watch this chart and if Bitcoin will break out, then a huge long position 
that we will enter in so guys that's it thank you for watching thank you for listening and also be sure that you are following our movement and also uh, come to twitter follow me at mitlos dentler and also be sure you are following a uh, korean platform and laser pangats our nft launchpad project uh be very very active on the laser punk uh, twitter like share uh, retweet and, and comment and also here are the pizza day things and some uh, lovely things from the meta players guys and also uh, some nice uh, things uh, about from Gabor Gubac about Tether. So guys definitely watch this So see you in the next video. Bye. Bye